Hey guys, before we get started on file manipulation, we need to kind of understand the structure of our system, how it sorts everything out, how can we navigate those things. The easiest way to figure this out is to open up the command prompt and learn a bit how to navigate our folders without a mouse, but with the command prompt. So right now, opening command prompt, you'll get similar window to this, or you might get a bluish window, which is the PowerShell command prompt. It's the same thing. It doesn't really matter. Now, if you are in a different type of system, so this system that I'm utilizing right now is a window system. And you could see that because of the backslash. So the navigation, as you could see here, my current location is C colon, that's our root, we'll talk about that, backslash users backslash res. This is the current location I am. And we're going to showcase this in a bit. But if you run a different type of system, such as a Unix type of system, this would be a forward slash. A Unix type of system would be something like an iOS, it would be like Android. Um, uh, it would be um, pretty much any Linux that you have and so forth so on. Okay, so these system will require you to have a forward slash while a Windows would have a backslash. This is important if you change systems, you need to navigate them depending on this. Um, mind you, this also could become important if your code is going to be compiled in a different system or utilized in a different system. It really depends on the code in the library. We'll talk about that maybe in the future. For now, this is fine. Just remember that the big difference. Now, what does these, uh, these slashes mean? Well, let's look at this little part here. So the first thing that you'll notice, it's something called a C colon. This is the drive. This is the root location. Now, what is a root location? It's, you could say, the beginning, the start of everything. There is nothing higher than that. And then inside of this, there's many folders, and there's a folder we could see here called users. So the next step is there's another folder, a container called users. And then you see another backslash here, and then we see it's res. So another folder inside of that folder user called res. And that's where we are currently. This is our current location. Now, if this was Unix, you would get the separation by a forward slash. Okay. So you just got to remember that all of these are, you could consider it as folders, their locations, and it helps us navigate through. Why do we have folders? It's the same reason we have rooms. We have boxes. We have, uh, let's say, binders. It helps us navigate or find things much quicker because we separate them into classifications. Whatever those classifications would be, it's up to us. You could see here, there's a classification called users. So there might be other users that we could have, right? We could have J, whoever J is. We could have Dave, whoever Dave is. And there's also one called res, that's me. So it's up to us how we divide and take things and do things and so forth and so on, okay? But you got to remember that there's always a start, a root. There's C over here, which is the normal thing for Windows uh, operating system. Your Normally, your operating system will be running on a C drive. But we could obviously have other hard disks or SSDs, and they would be named different letters. And we could even assign the letters if we wanted to. These would be the root for those hard drives, right? These three things. So... Let's erase a little bit and let's try this out. So, so far we understood that the beginning is the root and that everything else is folders. If we want to navigate throughout our folders, we could do, depending on your system, you would use something like LL as an example, if it's there, or LS, or DIR if you're on Windows. Notice that when we utilize DIR, 
So I put in the command here, I press enter. It would tell me directory of uh, C users res has a lot of these things. So a lot of files and some of them are directories. Notice that anything that's directory will have that little attribute there. And whatever is not will have no attributes. Right? So you can see there's a lot more directories than there is anything else. So let's say if we go into something, let's say into my pictures, or let's say into my videos, we're going to change directory. So CD for change directory space where you want to go. In this case, I want to go to videos. So I'm going to type in V and I'm going to press tab. By pressing tab, we're auto completing. And notice here, it picked up two things. VS code, press tab again, videos. So you could navigate through these by pressing tab. And if you press shift tab, you're going backwards. This is good if there's more than one file. So let's say if I do CD and I press tab, now it's going to pick up every file. And let's say I was going fast and I missed it, the web storm. Now I could hold shift and press tab. It goes backwards. Right? So whatever works for you. In this case, we're going to change directory to videos. Press enter. Notice that when we change directory, let me clear the screen. Notice that when we change directory, the path has been updated. This is the current path. Notice the current path is before my little cursor and I cannot erase it with anything. And notice some people type in the full path as if it's going to be that. It's not like that. If you want to change directory, you need to always put in the command cd space where you want to go. So in this case, we went downwards. We went c users res and then we went one more to videos and we could again do dir. And you could see here that we have a lot more files and they're a lot much bigger. Uh, these are some videos we were making for uh, the past videos, actually, right? And so forth, so on. Now, having that said, let's do CLS for clearing the screen. Uh, it might also be Control L, depends on which system you're in. Now, we know how to go downwards by doing CD and the name of something downwards any of these would work right but if i want to go upwards this is where cd we can't really specify res here because it doesn't know if it's looking for another folder res or if it's wanting to go up right so normally when we do cd and we put a name it's attributing to something lower something inner so what they've done is they save the keyword two dots. Two dots means the parent directory. In this case, these two dots means go back to one level higher than videos. So we're at videos. We want to go to res. Press enter. And we are at res. Right? CD videos. This is going downwards. This is going upwards. We could again go upwards. We could go back downwards and we could do more than one command at a time uh, or more, more location at a time. So we could do res, then we do backslash v forward slash, uh, sorry, uh, for, uh, back. let me redo that. So res backslash v tab, and we've got videos. Now I'm specifying go not only in res, but also go in videos. Right? So we're jumping in two levels. If I wanted to jump two levels higher, well, it's the same thing. Two little dots means parent directory. Backslash, two little dots means the parent directory of the parent directory. So here we're, going, we're expecting to go into users. Cool. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, we could also change direct, directory by just doing D. Uh, sorry, directory. We could change our drive by doing the drive name and colon and pressing enter. Um, did I miss something? Du, 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 du. Yeah, it seems I forgot something. Oh, do I just do this? 
Yes, there we go. Sorry, it's been a long time since I was on Windows. So to change drives, you just do the name of the drive, colon, and that's it. As you could see us doing it here. So if I want to go back to the C, I would just do C and press enter. Notice that it will go back to the last location, and that's fine. And this is how we navigate uh, our directory. There's one last one you want to note about. There's another keyword uh, saved, and that's the dot. So we had two dots to represent the parent directory. We also have one dot to present the current location. So if I do cd dot, we're not going to change the location because dot is the current location. This could be useful when we want to make sure we want something from this location or something like that. Uh, sometimes to specify, I want it, this place to be saved or done or do something. Okay. So notice again, uh, well, I did a forward slash by accident, but it doesn't really matter. So Atom, now we're in that directory. Don't, don't get it confused with the dots in front of files. Those are the file names themselves. That's nothing to do with that. And that allows us to navigate. I'll see you guys in the next video.